Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steven, ING's new CEO. Thanks for joining me for this short summary of ING's second quarter. So, let's get to it. The coronavirus pandemic continues to affect people and businesses everywhere, including ING, as we have adapted the way we do business to keep our colleagues and customers safe and support them, as well as the communities we operate in through these difficult times. The crisis has seriously impacted the global economy and with it our results, which have been affected especially by a sharp increase in our risk costs. Through all this, our focus continues to be on the safety of colleagues and customers. Around three quarters of ING employees worldwide are still working from home. Hi. Although slowly, more of us are going back to the office. And we're constantly exploring ways to enhance their experience and empower them to keep serving customers to the highest level. Our digital focus helps us to make the necessary improvements. In the Netherlands, that includes training advisors to conduct meetings by video, resulting in high satisfaction ratings from our customers. And in Belgium, remote advice for investment clients is now being offered by nearly 90% of our personal bankers. We're also educating people about banking from home and increasingly making it possible to securely open accounts remotely. Like in Poland, where only a mobile phone and ID card is needed. And it's not only about protecting people from the virus itself. The pandemic has led to a big increase in digital transactions, which raises the risk from cybercrime. So we've set up a COVID-19 transaction monitoring task force for the extra protection of our customers from online criminal activity. Obviously, and regardless of COVID, we continue on our KYC enhancement efforts. With digital banking increasing, we work hard to keep improving the customer experience. For example, customers from Belgium are now able to benefit from the same award-winning banking app being used in the Netherlands and Germany. Also in Germany, we've integrated Lendico's digital lending solution into our banking platform, meaning that small businesses can get loan approvals within just 48 hours. And we're the first bank offering small business loans to sellers on Amazon Germany directly through the Amazon portal opening up a convenient new channel for those clients. And while we concentrate on supporting customers through the coronavirus crisis, we do not lose sight of our goal to facilitate a low carbon economy and build back a better and more sustainable society. For more info on our results and on how we're helping customers and communities deal with the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, you can always check ing.com.